forces. When you think of it in physics, gravity is usually the first to come to mind. Perhaps you've heard of them, fundamental forces which make up the very fabric of existence. And what if I said there were only four of them? Strong nuclear force, electromagnetic force, weak nuclear force, and finally, gravity. This is really fascinating, as every observed phenomenon, from as small as movement inside atoms to as impressive as galaxies colliding, can all be explained by these interactions. Though they seem different, what if I tell you that two of these forces can be represented as different aspects of the same force, like two sides of the same coin, these being the weak nuclear force and electromagnetism, better known as the electroweak unification theory. Quite a mouthful, proposed by our unsung hero, Professor Abdus Salam. He was a theoretical physicist born in what is now known as Pakistan in 1926. At 14, he scored the highest ever marks in his final exams. In 1964, he believed that scientists from poorer nations should not experience barriers in communication and so established the International Centre for Theoretical Physics. He was the first Muslim Pakistani to win the Nobel Prize for his work on the unification theory in 79. Salam was relentlessly driven by three passions, an urge to excel in physics, the desire to put Pakistan on the map of scientific prosperity and re-establish Islam's forgotten role in science. Although he is now known as the father of theoretical physics in Pakistan, at the time he faced severe persecution for his faith and nationality. For instance, he was prohibited from entering a uni campus as students threatened to break his legs. His lasting legacy of developing an institute is a driving force behind efforts to advance scientific expertise in the developing world, and this inspires future generations of physicists from third world countries to truly capture his philosophy. He once said scientific thought and its creation is the common and shared heritage of mankind.